Hey, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, follow along, and hit that bell. Be alerted when we release new videos. Today's a big day, guys. Finally get to harvest those meat birds. I've got my brother and his family here today. A little bit of extra hands and assistance to be able to help us out. I'm excited for that. It'll be a, a learning curve as we do this for the first time here at Furco Family Farm. But first things first, I gotta get down here and do the chores. Gotta let the chickens out, feed the chickens and, and the pigs. So let's get that knocked out and then we gotta set up. We gotta get everything set up for the meat birds, the harvest station. So first things first, let's get these chores done. Good morning. Got to get the fan put in. It's still a warm day out. head back and start getting things ready. Might be a long day today harvesting these chickens. All right, so we got to get set up for the chickens to get harvested. First things first, we got some of the equipment. We've got the table put together. Uh, we've got the propane tank for the scalding tank. Got my brother, John, here to help with this. Uh, what do I want to do is on these two trees right here, I'm going to get a board. I think I have a, a cedar two by six. Then I'm gonna nail up across these boards so we can hang the harvesting cones on. That's step one. And then we're gonna put all the equipment, line it up with the scalder, the plucker, and everything else. We're gonna get it all stationed down here. So uh, the first thing in this setup is just getting everything kind of put in its place and doing a mock dry run through everything to make sure we've got it down before we start actually harvesting birds. So I'm gonna go get that board and we're gonna get this thing hung up. Yes this like I was originally going to do anyway. Grab that in. Uh, that should be it. We're not going to go super high. Like, maybe go down a tiny bit. Right there. Um, you want to just hold that in place, that way I have a general idea where this go. Alright, let them down. Uh, 
I screwed it over just a tiny bit right there. There we go. So now we got both these cones up. They can do two birds at a time. We just need to put something down here to collect when they bleed out. We'll be able to put some pine shavings to mix in. And once that all the birds are harvested, we'll be able to take all that and put it into the compost pile. Uh, Jerry went and emptied out these old water bins that we've been using around the, the farm here. And we're just gonna put some of these pine shavings in to help absorb and, and collect the blood when we harvest the chickens here. Uh, once all that's done, that'll go into the compost pile. Make for some good punk compost. I'm actually using the bucket we use for compost in the house, and I'm gonna put it underneath the chicken plucker to try to collect the feathers here that will uh, can get put into the compost as well. Perfect. I guess we can probably get it closer. All right, so we got the plucker set up here. We plugged in the power to the outlet in the chicken coop. It's all ready to go. The on off switch. Turns it right on. We'll put the chickens in a pluck and they'll spin around for 15 to 30 seconds and hopefully all the feathers will be out. Turn this valve on. All right, so we turned this on. We had put the batteries in until the light came on. This is a safety feature. Uh, keeps it on for every 15 minutes. We're gonna have to adjust this gas flow while the water's boiling out or warming up because we want to get this thing to roughly 140. And I'm not quite sure if this is working or not, so. All right, so what we did is we got these cones, the harvesting cones set up and the blood collection down there. This is good to go. We went over and put the scalding water, got the water with a little bit of dish soap in there to help break the feather or loosen the feathers from the oily skin. So that's set, it's heating up right now. We need to get it to about 140. Although this thermometer isn't quite accurate, I will try to use it to keep an eye on the temperature. Because if you get it too hot, you're gonna end up cooking the skin or cooking the meat a little bit, which we don't wanna do during the scalding process. It's just to help take the feathers off. So if you get it too hot, it'll start tearing the skin when you try to pluck them. This is not good. Trial and error, we're gonna try to figure this out and do it right the first time. Hopefully don't mess it up. And then we'll go over here to the plucker. We've got the plucker set up. And once they're plucked, we're gonna come out and we're gonna have a cooler set up right here uh, we've got, bought a large cooler. We also have that little red cooler. So we're probably gonna maybe use the red cooler first, take them out of the plucking, put them in the red cooler to rinse them off, and then take them to eviscerate them, clean them out, rinse them out, and put them into the big cooler with ice. Let them sit in there for a little while, and then we'll take them out, dry them off, and put them in the heat shrink wrap to uh, finish them off. What's the water at? 110 or so. All right, we're gonna go up here and Grab the first meat birds. I was here. She got the extra large one. Yeah. There you go. All right. All right. All right, guys. So we ran into a little bit of a dilemma. As we were getting the scalder up the temperature to scald these birds, right as it was getting the temperature, we ran out of propane. <laughs> and of course, all my other propane tanks were empty. So I went ahead and grabbed the propane tank. I ran up to the store and exchanged it for a new one. While I was gone, John and Jerry well, actually took the birds and they 
put them in the scalding water and it was just warm enough to help loosen the feathers and get out and they used the chicken plucker and they got the first two done so jerry's just finishing eviscerating one chicken here and uh once she gets this done we'll uh get the another two put in the cones and get rolling through the process again There you go. There you go. All right. So you set them in here. See, you got to pull the head down. Yep, there we go. All right. Here we go. Watch out. Okay. Seems to be coming out. All right. Turn it on, put it in. Uh, these, I guess they're coming out. Yeah, they just ain't break it out. The goal is to try to get as much, as many of these feathers out with the plucker. Of course, sometimes you're gonna have feathers you gotta pluck out. Uh, we're still getting used to the process, so we'll get better at it as we go. Yeah, move on to the next one. All right. Take the next one out and put them right in the scalding water. All right, take it over to the plucker. All right, let's go grab another chicken. Once they're inviscerated and cleaned out, we rinse them out real good, give them a real good rinsing, and then they go into their ice bath to cool down. Put them right in there. Okay. Now I'll repeat again for the next two. All right, how are we on water? Water's at good temp. Let's get these chickens over here in the scalder got it us ah, we're getting better yeah oh yeah we're doing it oh, oh good yeah. a little just a few outliers perfect all right let's do the next one
What'd you think of the process so far? Pretty easy. Yeah. Pretty easy. Pretty easy. Yeah, going a lot faster than what we thought. Yeah. Anticipated this to take a lot longer, but we got it now. We have one more bird to scald, pluck, rinse, eviscerate, cool. And we'll get them all, once they're all done, we'll get them all bagged. All right, so Jerry right now is taking the chickens out of the cooler. And what she's doing is just trying to get the, the back legs positioned so when we shrink wrap them shrink wrap them they're not sticking out and breaking the bags as bad so this is what we do we just kind of cut a little slice in their their skin there to kind of tuck the legs up that just helps us when we put them in a the shrink wrap uh, that the legs will stay together and look a little bit neater so once we get done with this we'll make sure they're padded dry a little bit put them in their bags and shrink wrap them We got mom down here helping out. All right, we did it. It was a success. All 10 meat birds are now packaged and in the freezer. I appreciate everyone following along on today's video. It was a little bit of a learning curve as we figured this out for the first time. But right now we're just gonna get cleaned up and the rest of our stuff cleaned up. Jerry's out here packing things up and uh, get back to the house, get cleaned up, and enjoy the rest of our evening. Hey, and a special shout out to my brother John and his wife Taylor. John did a good job helping us. It was awesome having a three-man crew. And Taylor kept the kids occupied while we were down here busy working. So thanks guys, it was very much appreciated. We'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks a lot, take care.